Well, let's talk about the AWS S3 CLI because there's something a little bit different with this one because S3 uh, is such an old service and does so much that it doesn't just have one command, it has uh, uh, four different commands. We have the AWS S3 command, the S3 API command, the S3 control command, and the S3 outpost command. And I don't remember there being so many, but uh, before there was just two, there was S3 and S3 API, now there's S3 uh, control and S3 outposts. So they all serve different purposes, and let's talk about it. The first one is AWS S3. This is a high level way to interact with S3 buckets and objects. And so basically this is like when you really don't wanna do low level stuff and you just wanna copy and move files and you want it to uh, put a lot of magic in there for you and write the least amount of code to do what you wanted to do, they're gonna use the AWS S3. So it's really good for day-to-day -day usage. Um, I think that when you are pro programmatically working with bash scripts, you should really use the S3 API because it's more robust. And this one is a low level way to interact with S3 objects and buckets. And so here's an example of the exact same thing that at the AWS S3 is doing above there uh, as it's putting something in the bucket, but notice that it's a lot more verbose. So you have a lot more fine tuned control in terms of what is happening here. Um, but yeah, AWS S3 could be doing multiple things under the hood, whereas S3 API is, is really single action, single focused. Then you have uh, S3 control. Um, this one's a little bit confusing because it has a lot of commands for S3 outposts, which I really would have thought that was what it was S3 outposts would have been for. But S3 control is for access points, S3 outpost buckets, S3 batch operations, storage lines. So a lot of the newer features are placed under here. Um, and so here's an example of describing an S3 control uh, uh, job for something. Uh, I don't really remember what, but it, that's an example of that. Then you have S3 outposts, which um, doesn't really manage everything with outposts. It just manages the endpoints for S3 outposts. So there's very, very few um, uh, AWS CLI commands for this. So just understand that for the bulk of your normal operations, you're gonna be using S3 control uh, when, it, when it talks about buckets and things like that. Um, and probably a mix of the other ones above there. But uh, uh, yeah, there you go for a good overview, a high level overview of the commands for AWS S3 uh, CLI. In terms of subcommands, we'll talk about that and we'll cover them throughout uh, the S3 section. So that's why we're not covering them here. But uh, yeah, we'll move on from here, okay?